In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the SSD in the Asus ROG Ally. As cool as the Asus ROG Ally is, the included 512 gigabyte SSD really isn't that large by today's standards, and as such, you can fill it up relatively quickly with just a couple of games. The SD card slot is an option, but the slower read and write speeds are just kind of a letdown compared to the nice speed you get out of an SSD, but I mean, it's good enough for most games. But Asus was cool enough to make it so that expandable storage was a priority and has included functionality to upgrade the SSD relatively easily. And in this video, we're gonna go through that process. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, before we get started, it is a good idea to make sure that you have the latest BIOS flashed onto your Asus ROG Ally. This will ensure the smoothest functionality for the upgrade process. So make sure you get it installed before continuing. Link to the BIOS and firmware page will be in the description below if you need it. Next, you're going to need an M.2 NVMe SSD with which to upgrade to, and this is going to be in the 2230 form factor. So there's things such as the Sabrent Rockets, but in today's video, I'm going to be using the Corsair MP600 1TB. I know a couple of modders had made it so you can use the full-size NVMe SSD drives, but I'm not really comfortable doing that to my Asus ROG Ally, so I'm just going to stick with official form factors personally. So I'll have links to a couple of these in the description below for anyone interested. Next, we're going to take our Asus ROG Ally and make sure that it is completely shut off. So you can go into Windows, do shutdown, or just hold the power button down until the entire device turns off, but it needs to be powered off for this process. So now, just flip it over. And we're going to need a size zero Phillips screwdriver. So this one like this. And we're gonna take off the six screws on the back of the Ally. So just unscrew them with your driver. And once they're all out, the back should easily be able to pop off. If not, you could put a spacer in between the two panels and easily pop it up. And so we'll just set that aside for now. So now once we're inside here, we're just gonna lift up this little black flap to reveal our old SSD. Now it is recommended to disconnect the power before continuing, so you will see a little silver lock mechanism right here on the battery connector. So if we just slide that up, we should be able to slide the connector right on out after that. There we go. And now we can go ahead and remove the old SSD right here with our screwdriver and make sure you don't lose the little tiny screw. But with the screw removed, you should just be able to easily lift out the old M2 SSD, gently rocking back and forth to slide it out of the connector. And there it is, it is now removed. We could use this in something else if desired, or, you know, put in an external uh, storage uh, shell so you can use it on the Ally even. But now we just need to get our replacement SSD, get it opened up, and then pull it out and it will just slide right into the same place that the old one populated. So just go ahead and lift up the black flap again. Bring this all a little bit closer so you can see it better, but here we go. Just line it up with the M2 slot and then gently slide it into place. There we go. And now we'll lock it down with the previous screw that we just took out of the old one. And there we go. Now that we got that screwed back in, we just need to put the battery connector back in. All right, just like that. And then slide the metal locking bracket back into place. There we go. And then we could just go ahead and close the system back up. So just reattach the back. Let's 
make sure everything snaps back into place, and then you can begin screwing it back down. So we'll do the security screw here first. And there we go, the system is now reassembled and we're ready to move on to the next step, which is to restore our operating system. So to do this, hold down the volume down key and press the power button to turn it on. Once your ally has booted up into the BIOS menu, go ahead and press Y to get out of easy mode and into advanced mode. And hold on one second, there we go. Let us see it a little bit better. So another thing I'd recommend doing is plugging in the power adapter at this point, just so you don't have to worry about the battery dying during this process. But anyway, we're gonna head over to the advanced tab. You can use the touch screen to do so, just like this or you can use the D-pad. But the option we're looking for is this top one right here of Asus Cloud Recovery. So we're just gonna go in, select that with the A button or with the touchpad. We're gonna get a notice about the privacy policy, so just go ahead and view the policy. Above age of 20, agree. And now you'll need to set up your network information. So just go ahead and click on next. and connect to your home Wi-Fi. And then it'll get connected. And when the connection test has succeeded, just press OK. And you will eventually be brought to a menu saying cloud recovery file is ready for download. Press next to continue. So go ahead and click on next. And it will begin downloading your system files. So just bear with it while it does its thing. It might take a while. And once the update is completed, just press continue. And now from here, the cloud recovery process will continue and this will take quite a while. So again, just bear with it while it does its thing. Now, once the recovery menu has finished loading, it's gonna ask if you wanna back up your files first. There's nothing on this SSD that we just swapped in, so we could just press on no. And on this next screen, click on yes. And now just wait for it to do its thing once again. And after that download completes, you'll eventually be reset and brought to another cloud recovery screen where you're just gonna to continue to hurry up and wait. And eventually, when everything finishes from the recovery process, you will get to set up your ROG Ally just as if it was a new device out of the box. So from here, just continue along with initial setup as you would when it first came out of the box. And once the process is completed, you will be greeted with your standard Asus ROG Ally desktop, but you will have a ton more storage. 
And with that, the upgrade to your Asus ROG Allies SSD is complete. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your Ally SSD upgraded easily and with no fuss. But here at the end of the video, I do have a couple of huge favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's video, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going so you can see more content just like this, be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers, thank you so much as always for believing what we do here and being just such incredible champions. But until next time my wonderful internet peeps, y'all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.